IIT Madras pressed launch on IITM Global. They took Chennai's deep tech ecosystem and exported it to the United States, Europe, the Gulf. It was a play for talent. It was a play for influence. But now, they've pressed launch on something much more explosive and much more critical. So if IITM Global was about where Indian talent shows up, this new hub is about how the world talks without getting caught. Welcome to Front Page. Like, share, subscribe. Of course, let us now unveil what this can impact. What just happened at the research park? Well, the government pulled back the curtain on the IITM uh, C dot, Samagnya Technologies Foundation. A mouthful, right? So, well, here is our little attempt to simplify it. This is India's national hub for quantum communications, backed by the Department of Science and Technology under the National Quantum Mission. Now that we've established that, the lineup is heavy. Inaugurated by DST Secretary Professor Abhay Karandikar, anchored by IIT Madras Director Professor V. Kamakoti, chaired by Professor Bhaskar Ramamurthy. And of course, let us not mistake this for a classroom because it is an attempt to build a command center. The goal? To make Indian communications unhackable, literally. So why should this matter to us? Well, I guess it will be clearer when we understand the narrative war. Right now, our bank transfer, our DM, the nuclear launch codes, well, they are all protected by math. Complex problems that classical computers take years to solve. But here is the great news. Quantum computers are coming and they eat that very math for breakfast. So, well, in 5 years or 10 years, current encryption would be, well, dead. The narrative is shifting from secure by math to secure by physics. Say hello to quantum key distribution, QKD. This is what the hub is actually building. It uses the laws of physics. So if a hacker tries to look at the data stream, they change the quantum state. The system knows it's being watched. The line cuts, the key burns. It is, well, pretty much the ultimate foolproof system. So for a country rolling out sovereign AI and defense networks, this becomes a very crucial survival kit. Skeptics always have a very loud voice and sometimes it is best to drown it out with action rather than words. But first, what do the skeptics have to say? That India is late to the party in quantum computing? Google and IBM have a head start? Yeah, that's a fact. But listen to Professor V. Kamakoti. The narrative changes when we talk about communication. In QKD, in secure transmission, India believes it has an edge because we aren't chasing the United States here. Conversely, we are actually looking to run parallel and maybe even past them. This hub is the bat that proves it. It's not about computing power. It's actually about transmission security. And India wants to be in control of the infrastructure itself. So what does this foundation actually do? That's the big question. Well, they have four mandates. The battle plan, if you will. At number one is the test beds. They are building quantum networks between labs and cities. Real fiber, real satellites. Proving it works outside a vacuum changer. chamber. Sorry. At number two, the startups. If you are a young founder, you can't afford single photon detectors. They cost a fortune. This hub buys the gear so you can build the product. It's actually a hardware subsidy for genius. And number three, capacity. Training the engineers who understand the weird physics from the protocol stack to the laser hardware. And at number four is global links. Yes, using IITM Global to plug into Europe and the United States. We, of course, aren't building a walled garden. We are building a bridge. And they already showed receipts, live demos, working QKD systems. So, if finally you're ready, 
Here is the front page take. For decades, we called IIT Madras an engineering college. Well, that label, I feel, does not do justice anymore. With IITM Global, it became a multinational network. With this hub, it becomes a national security node. DST funding, C dot partnership, start up energy. And if this works, India becomes one of the first nations where the AI data centers and the government grids are secured end to end. And mind you, that too with homegrown physics and not by imported software. And there is, of course, no other way to define it but as the infrastructure for the AI century. We, of course, would love to know what your thoughts on this are, which is, is India ready to lead the quantum conversation or maybe not? Let us know what you think. Think AI, think quantum, think AIM. Thank you.